What is good everybody, welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today we have brand new information and intel on some brand new WWE action figure news. You guys know that the news has been pretty crazy as of late, man. It's been just going wild. And actually tomorrow we have the new Coliseum Collection dropping on March 14th. That is tomorrow we have the new Coliseum Collection Series 4 featuring Brett the Hitman Heart and Jim Neidhart. That is dropping tomorrow, like I said, on Mattel Creations. And then on the 15th we have Walmart Collector Con, obviously. And Walmart Collector Con we is really just... You know, a bunch of pre-orders go up. Sting is going up. The Supreme Edition Sting. I think the Walmart Unrivaled Bucks and the White Jackets are going up. And then I also think the Monday Night War Series 3 is also going up for pre-order. But I wouldn't hold my breath on that stuff, man. This is something that I always tell people when you're pre-ordering from Walmart. It's, I mean, you're basically leaving everything up to chance. Pre-ordering from Walmart guarantees you nothing. So really, I have gotten to the point where I just save my money, man. Uh, that's that's what I've been doing. I, I always save my money on Walmart pre-orders. And then if I find it in store, if I in store and if it's been long enough and I really want the figures I end up just buying aftermarket and that that's just the way it crumbles I look for it I try my best to find it at retail I try you know the best thing to do man is rely on the community man if you if you can get some some good friends in the community and you can connect with people and you know just enjoy the hobby with somebody else and so you don't have to rely on the Walmart pre-order system that's completely broken most of the time like it's just insane I, it used to always blow my mind targets the same way it used to blow my mind and I'm sorry this gets off on a tangent we're gonna get into the news but I think this is important so just listen up I used to do the same thing with Target, you know, the thing goes up for pre-order on Target, like the Legends figures, right? pre-order them on Target, and then I go to my Target, and I find them in Target before my order online comes in, so I'm like, what the what the hell's the point? I'm just gonna take my chances, and I know that a lot of people's distribution locally, and a lot of their, you know, your Walmart's, your Targets are dog shish, I understand that, that that was mine for a long time, I don't know if it's because I've just been buying figures so much and so long that they're like, hey, we got a guy in the area that's absolutely insane, so you may want to send some figures over here, however, you know, that that's what I would recommend, I would recommend just taking your chances really I like because there are no guarantees and if you really do want to pre-order them then just pre-order them not the biggest deal to pre-order them either but it just always got on my nerves I would pre-order and pre-order and pre-order and then I, my order would get canceled every single time man so that's just the way that crumbles it'd be different if your figures were guaranteed but I mean I guess the thing to do would be pre-order them and then if they don't come they don't come and I guess pre-order them but also toy hunt them that way you can cancel either or you know I'll shut the hell up now and dive into the lore that we're going to talk about today man we got some stuff from my man Action Figure Attack. We got Steve Ozer posting up some stuff and some insight on the upcoming things that we have coming this month on into WrestleMania. And I thought it would make for a cool video because we have some cool insights here. And I do want to give a huge shout out to my buddy Alex West Collects who does some awesome reviews here on YouTube as well. Shout out to my man Alex over there. He shared some screenshots from the WWE action figure forums or the wrestling figure forums on some information here that I want to get into, man. So this first one comes and it says some Mattel Creations exclusive reveals coming 322 Mattel Creations. And you can see there on the screenshot it says action figure attack and it's his page. And it says the first Mattel Creations revealed online event is a little over a week away. WWE is up on Friday, March 22nd and we will have a few Mattel Creations exclusive reveals to show for the very first time. Plus an exclusive exclusive item. What are you hoping to see at the event? So this is very interesting because it says, you know, we will have a few Marvel, or Marvel, what the hell are we doing, Brad? We have a few MC exclusive reveals, Mattel Creations exclusive reveals to show for the very first time. So I'm guessing we will see two to three Mattel Creations exclusives. So I'm guessing, I would, I would imagine we're going to see an update on that LWO5 pack if I had to imagine. That's just what my brain tells me, you know, but it does say for the very first time. So we have a few Mattel Creations exclusive reveals to show for the very first time. Plus, an exclusive item. So I I don't know if that means like something's going up for pre-order that's going to be shipping soon by by plus an exclusive item. And then it says for the very first time. So maybe it's not the LWO5 pack, but you know that's been in the works for for a while now, so I'd imagine we'd have an update on that, but maybe it's not that, you know, cuz it says for the very first time, but it says a few, and I feel like a few means at least 3 because you know one is one, two is a couple. It would say we have a couple reveals. A few reveals is a handful. That could be 3 to 5 is what I'm guessing. So really hype for that. So March 22nd, we're going to get Mattel Creation exclusive reveals. And with Mattel Creation's exclusive, I know there's some international collectors out there. We have an update on that. And so we're going to get into that as well. But I'm, I'm very intrigued by this. I'm very excited for this. Cannot wait to see what this is. I'm actually giddy right now talking to you guys because we have this Mattel Creations exclusive reveals. And then we have WrestleMania World coming in April. So we have these Mattel Creations exclusives. And then we have the Defining Moments figures that should be updated very soon. I would imagine at WrestleMania we're going to see those, which I'm really excited about. You guys know 
know that that's ringside exclusive. Ringside Collectibles carries the Defining Moments line now, but I'm so excited to find out what the next four figures are there, so I'm just giddy, man. Literally trying to hold myself back from smiling. I'm so excited to see what this stuff is, but this was the first update. I'm very excited. March 22nd. That is going to be next Friday. Is that next Friday? Not this Friday, but the next Friday. I also want to add the, f the day after that next Friday, I'm going to Toylanta. Is anybody going to Toylanta? I will be at Toylanta. I'm going to go to Toylanta. It's a couple hours away here. I'm going to travel to Toylanta, so if you guys are going to be at Toylanta or you want to come there and, you know, look around and toy hunt, I am going to be there. I do believe doing a really big toy hunt, like a WWE action figure toy hunt at Toylanta, and so that should be really fun. Cannot wait to, you know, see you guys out there and do that. And then the following weekend, it will be almost time to go to WrestleMania. So a lot of stuff happening, man. Really excited for it. Can't wait for it. But nonetheless, let's move on to the next one, man. Monday Night Wars Ultimate News here. It says, or somebody asked, Chip said, so shout out to Chip. Is are the Monday Night Wars figures slated for the Walmart planograms, or is this shipper program the only way we're going to be able to get them? So I don't know if you guys know the shipper stuff. The WrestleMania 40 shippers have been hitting Walmart all over. People have been posting it like crazy. I've been looking for it like crazy. None of my Walmarts in Alabama. I have it. If you guys are in Alabama right now and you guys have found this shipper, please tell me the location, but then again, I guess it'll probably be picked over, which is what I've seen from a few people online. These Monday Night War Elites have been in this shipper, WWE Elite Series 106, a WWE Elite Series 107, the Battle Pack Series featuring Roman Reigns and Logan Paul have been in here, so there's been a lot of people finding the shippers all over. So this person, Chip, is asking, shout out to Chip again, he's asking if that will be the only way to get the Monday Night Wars Elites because that's what's been in these shippers and people are worried if they're picked over, you know, if you don't find the shipper, you're not going to find the Monday Night Wars Elites. Well, here Steve has said, Monday Night War Elites and Ultimates hit Walmart Planet on the very next reset. So on the next reset of the Walmart planograms, the Monday Night War Elites and Ultimates are going to be a part of that. So I imagine Elite Series probably 106 or 107, just like the Shipper, will probably be on shelves along with the Monday Night War Elites and Ultimate Editions as, you know, like the new set. They'll probably have new ba basics, battle pack. You know, it's like the new aisle reset where they get a bunch of figures, new stuff, new releases. They put them on the shelf at the same time. So I'm guessing that all of this stuff is going to be there together. I've really been trying to hunt down the Monday Night War Elite set because I feel like most people have already talked about this set and reviewed it on the channel, and I still haven't been able to review it on the channel, so I definitely want to do a half-hour deep dive on the entire line and break it down, and I haven't been able to find them, man, so that's something that we're working on there, but that is some interesting news. So the Roddy Piper and the Bret Hart Ultimate Edition should be hitting relatively soon. I would imagine maybe by WrestleMania, we'll, we should have those figures in hand, or maybe like right thereafter, they should be hitting. Within the next few weeks, I would imagine we're going to have our hands on those figures, and we can review them and stuff, but this is good information from Action Figure Attack here, telling us that that, you know, this the shipper, the WrestleMania 40 shipper is not the only way you can obtain the Monday Night Wars elites and uh, and those figures right there. So that's really good, man. That's good to know. But the next little bit of interesting info we have right here, man. Crush, shout out to Crush. Crush is asking the question now. He says, forgive me if this has been clarified somewhere previously. Are the Mattel Creations reveals next week only going to be for Mattel Creations specific products or or for the line as a whole. Related, will there still be reveals Mania Weekend, or are these fulfilling that slot? So he's, let me break down the lore here. He's asking, are the Mattel Creations exclusive reveals coming next week going to kind of fill the void of WrestleMania reveals and there won't be any WrestleMania reveals. And he said, Mattel Creations exclusives will be highlighted during the Mattel Creations revealed event. We'll have our usual WrestleMania reveals at WWE World slash WWE Superstore WrestleMania week. So this is what I was talking about earlier in the video. Not only are we going to have this revealed event here in a week or so, we're also getting a lot more reveals at WrestleMania World. And if it's any, he said our usual WrestleMania reveals at WWE World, which I don't know if you guys remember last year, it was a shish ton. It was like a Comic-Con level of reveals, so I expect to see a whole bunch of stuff. I'm very excited for it as we've discussed here on the channel. Gonna be there in person. Hope to get an interview with Mattel, and so I hope to get an interview with them. Hope to, you know, we're gonna cover all the different reveals, cover the entire weekend. Should be an insane piece of event that takes, takes place, man, so really excited for that, but again, I remember talking to Steve, and I remember him saying, you know, I'm afraid of how much we revealed here because I don't know how we're gonna top this at Comic-Con, and that's kind of what it was like. It was kind of insane but Comic Con was also massive, so they they throw a ton of a, a ton of stuff at us, man. There's so much, so many different figures revealed at these events, and WrestleMania World. I can't wait for it. It's going to be epic. The, lots of figures to be shown off, and then again, even with this revealed event that we're talking about here in a week, also just insane, man. So a lot of stuff, a lot of stuff brewing, man. A lot of stuff brewing. But we also have another bit of news here, and Action Figure Attack was asked a question. It's uh, what MCFC Lee said. So shout out to that person. 
International shipping is my biggest want. So obviously, if you guys were unaware, if you go to the Mattel Creations website or here lately, I think it said something like a lot of items on our website cannot be shipped internationally right now. And I know a lot of people who live, you know, out of the United States were pretty upset about this. They were talking about it on different socials. And so Steve came on here and said they're actively working on fixing it. Sorry, I don't have more info to share, but everyone involved is doing their best to restore things ASAP. So I'm not sure what the problem is. I don't know if it, maybe it was like a bug on the site or a glitch where they couldn't ship international items or maybe the Mattel Creations. I, I don't know how all that works. You know, I don't know how maybe the warehouse that ships internationally for Mattel or Mattel Creations isn't able to fulfill those orders for some reason. I don't know. I don't know what the, you know, again, I don't know what the story is right there. But it does look like they're actively trying to fix it. So if you live internationally or you don't live in the United States, they are trying their best to get that righted and all those different things, man. So I, I do hate that. I can't stand that. You know, it's, it's really stupid stinky because you know you don't really choose where you live i mean i guess like i guess you kind of choose where you live but not really right you know you're born and then wherever you live is where you live until you're able to you know kind of operate on your own but then with the damn cost of living and all the different just crazy situations and then you have that's like your home base you know where everything's established you know maybe you have parents and friends and whatnot that help you you know, continuing your everyday life, man. It's very hard to just uproot and move somewhere. So, you know, it, you kind of choose, but you don't really, you know, so that's that's a whole deal right there. So I really feel for international collectors when they have to deal with stuff like that, because I feel like, you know, you, United States collectors do get, you know, a lot of a lot of great bonuses when it comes to stuff like that, man. So I definitely do not take that for granted, but apparently they are working on that issue and hopefully they will get that issue fixed before anything is, you know, before anything is missed here, hopefully before the revealed event, before these exclusives go up because I can imagine it's going to be pretty stinky if, you know, they reveal some damn CM Punk exclusive on Mattel Creations next week or, you know, they put up something for pre-order. I think, I and I think that's probably what's going to be happening, man. So I imagine it's going to be pretty stinky if they put up some CM Punk Ultimate Edition or something like that. And then, you know, there's a ton of people that aren't able to grab it after the whole Mattel Creations debacle with the damn Nitro stage, I remember that. So, yeah, that's not going to be good, Bradley. That is not going to be good. So, I do want to kind of talk about what could be these Mattel Creations exclusives here. So, it's kind of crazy because, again, going back to that first one, it says, The first Mattel Creations revealed online event is a little over a week away. WWE is up on Friday, March 22nd. So, March 22nd, they're going to post up reveals, and we will have a few Mattel Creations exclusive reveals to show for the very first time, plus an exclusive item. A few exclusive reveals to show for the very first time. But see, if it was the LWO5 pack, they've already shown that, technically. They showed a render of it. So would that be the very first time, or did they mean very first time finalized? You know what I mean? So that's where I'm kind of weirded out about that. And then it says plus an exclusive item. So plus an exclusive item. So if I had to guess, I would think that they're going to show off final images or like some really good prototypes or, you know, some almost finalized versions of the LWO5 pack. And then I would think that the exclusive item would be an Ultimate Edition CM Punk, maybe Money in the Bank, or maybe his return gear or maybe something like that and maybe they had the whole figure figured out until the royal rumble and at the royal rumble they got the gear that he was in and then they you know they finalized that and they have it in a render form so maybe they've been working on the the head sculpts and everything about the cm punk besides the actual deco that was going to go in the gear and then once he wrestled at the royal rumble they were like okay all we got to do is fill in these graphics and the figure's done and maybe that's what took place so maybe it's going to be his return gear at the rumble for the mattel creations exclusive ultimate edition and again it may not be a cm punk i would just feel like it, i have to imagine that's coming soon or maybe maybe it's going to be his return at Survivor Series. Maybe that's a whole thing. So we'll have to see about all those things, of course, man. But I'm just excited to see exactly what these things are. And I don't think, like, it, it says Mattel Creations exclusive reveals coming. I'm guessing that this, it says online events. So this isn't, like, somewhere you can go and whatnot. It's going to be probably a live stream, I would imagine. It's probably going to be, like, a reveal-type live stream where Steve's going to get on there, maybe Bill, and they're going to be in, like, a nicely lit studio room or something like that, similar to, like, other companies they've done this in the past before but you know they get in there and then they showcase you know they talk about how excited they are for upcoming stuff and then they're going to show that they're going to bring things out and they'll get zoom in shots and we'll get you know official images posted by ringside and whatnot to certain things and i guess i i mean it's never mind it's probably not going to be ringside because it's mattel creations exclusive but we'll see i guess anything's possible but I'm excited, man. Excited to see exactly what figures we see. Excited to know exactly what figures are going to be and all those different things, man. But it should be really, really fun, man. I can't, I just, uh, this is the best time of the year, man. 
you have Comic Con City. We're, we've kind of entered into an era where we have like two different times during the year where it's insane to to be a collector because it's like Christmas all over again. You know, it kind of gives you that Christmas feeling because you're super excited to see what figures you get. So, you know, you got this revealed event, then you got WrestleMania World, and you got all these different things going on, man. So it should be really fun. But I think that is pretty much going to wrap up the news for today, man. Thank you guys so very much for watching. Huge shout out to our patron members of the MDT YouTube channel. And if you guys will, I'd, I'd like to know your thoughts on yesterday's video. If you guys missed yesterday's video, please go check that out. We talked about just kind of like the re-releases that Mattel's been doing. I made a whole video on it, and I just kind of got in front of the camera and just chatted for about 8 to 10 minutes and just kind of, you know, talked out the entire situation. And I really like the topic style videos because it I can read the comments and see where you guys' heads are at, and then you can give me feedback on what you think along with what I said, and you guys can give me your feedback on all those different things, man. So I'd greatly appreciate that. But nonetheless, man, I am getting out of here. Thank you guys so very much for watching. Hope you guys did enjoy. Leave me your thoughts down below, of course, on everything. Where's your head at on these reveals? What do you hope's reveal? What do you think? It's going to be revealed, all those things, man. But I'm getting out of here. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at MyDamnToys. I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a blessed one, and I'll catch you later. <laughs>